changing the speed of the music. Back in my day, songs used to only have one speed. That's the attitude I see around a lot of what's been going on the past few years. Songs being sped up or slowed and reverbed. And yeah, the general attitude is this sucks and we hate it. But here in this video, I'm a defendant. Remixing has been a major part of music for a long time, but more recently, it's become very common to just change the speed of the song. Nothing else, just change the speed, maybe add on a few extra effects, because we have the sped up songs, which are very popular on TikTok. There are a few occasions where the sped up version of a song will be more popular than the normal version of that song. It's gotten to the point where artists are even releasing sped up versions of their songs with their normal singles. Nightcore is kind of the name for the sped up song genre. What's been popular just a little bit longer is slowed in reverb songs, songs that are just slowed down a little bit. And yeah, just like the title says, you put a little more reverb on it, you call it a day. Now, while all this is kind of recent and has taken off off on TikTok and YouTube, changing the speed of a song isn't necessarily new. As a lot of people pointed out when slowed in reverb was becoming a thing, uh, chopped and screwed has been a huge thing in hip hop for decades at this point. It was started in the early 90s by DJ Screw, the man himself. If you haven't heard of DJ Screw, you've probably at least heard the song about him on Astro World. <laughs> DJ Screw was a DJ in Houston who invented, pioneered this sound, and the idea behind the sound is it gives you the impression of what music sounds like listening to it while on lean. And while I do think there are some slight differences between Chopped and Screwed and Slowed and Reverb songs, uh, you gotta give the guys credit. Like, this, this is like the biggest example of changing the speed of a song, becoming a massive phenomenon. But I would argue changing the speed of a song has probably been a thing for much longer, way before even the early 90s. And that's not based on any research at all. It's just purely anecdotal. This is the thing I've done and I cannot be the only one. Uh, to show you what I'm talking about, we're gonna take a trip to my record player. So this is my record player. As you can see, I have way more records than storage for records, but Thing about the record player is it plays at different speeds depending on the size of your record if you have a full sized or a little tiny boy like this and a lot of record players you'll just be able to change the speed with a knob a lot of them though have the 33 and 45 rpm which are the two most common speeds and if you play a 33 at 45 rpm it plays sped up. And if you play a 45 at a 33, it plays it slowed down. And it just so happens it changes the speed about as much as most of these modern remixes do. I discovered this just because out of pure curiosity, every time I got a record, I used to play it at the wrong speed just to see what it would sound like. And I noticed when the TikTok song started popping off that it's kind of the same thing. So my theory is people have been doing this for generations. I'll show you one of my favorite songs to speed up. It's the first track on this. Here's a little bit of the normal speed. It's funny because I've actually seen the artist Glaive post about how he doesn't like sped up songs, but, but I'll play you his song sped up. She's in a red beret, in a nice cafe Have a saucy says, and tears on her face The bass stands out so much. But yeah, sped up songs are as old as the record player and I'm sure I'm not the only one that's done this. I'll play you another one of my favorites. Uh, the entire Boy Genius album, Sped Up, sounds great. Give me everything you got. Great song, great song. This 
of reminds me of like old school Disney. Over the garden wall, maybe. I love what it does to the harmonies. Yeah, that could be in a Disney movie. My favorite, though, is Cool About It. It's also just one of my favorite songs on the album. Alright, this is normal. such a different quality to the voice. such a sad song but <laughs> the sped up like all, all these songs sped up they feel like fall they feel like curling up with a nice glass of hot apple cider with the blanket outside watching the leaves fall yeah, I'll play you one more so this Joji album is at a different rpm so when we change the speed on this it'll be slowed down there is one song on here that I love slowed down and it wasn't even one of my favorite songs sped up, but now that I've heard the slow down version, I appreciate it more. I'm gonna play you TikTok. All right, this is normal speed. This is normal speed. That you get the groove. About how the guitar sample is just sick to me. Oh no, the instrumental speaks to me now. <laughs> also like one of my least favorite songs on the album until I, I heard it this way and now now it's higher up the ranking I like appreciate the, the flow over the beat a lot more but yeah it's just mainly how that guitar comes out <laughs> so let's say you want to play around with changing the speed of music but you don't have a vinyl player you don't even have good music software let's say you got a windows computer you don't even got GarageBand. there is hope for you so my little brother duncan put me onto this chrome extension it's just called spotify playback speed so if you use spotify and you use Chrome, uh, you just download this extension, then when you open Spotify in the web browser, you'll notice this extra little button right down here, this little playhead, and this is where you could change the speed of your music. Now, the first thing I would do is turn this preserve pitch off. You don't really want that. You're not gonna get the full effect. And then you could just slide this slider. And here's the normal thing. Oh, yeah, I wanna know the future, but I can't know. Slow down. So if you want to replicate the sound of the vinyl player, and you know, that's what most of these things are trying to replicate, I think. Uh, I don't, don't double check me on this math, but I'm pretty sure that changing those RPM settings increases or decreases the speed by about 30%. So this, this little thing right here tells you by how many percent you're changing the song. So if you want it sped up and you want that vinyl sound, you put it at about 1.3. And if you want it slowed down, 
you want to put it to about 0 0.8. Although sometimes that's still a little too slow for me. I'll bump it up to 0.85 or 0.7. That is so smooth. <laughs> so now I'll get into some of my defense of why I think sped up and slowed down songs are valid. Other than yeah, I just think it sounds cool. So I think it's valuable to recontextualize uh, the music you listen to because sometimes hearing it from a different angle could bring out new things that you didn't hear before. So I'll play you my favorite song to speed up. This is The Dress by Dijon. Here's the normal speed. It's so smooth. I listen to this all the time, but let's hear the sped up version. It's, just, it's a different mood. It's so much more upbeat. See, I feel like this brings out a new element in the writing, just making it more upbeat. I love that I've appreciated the same song in a different context. I love this version of the song too. I listen to that all day. Now let's go to this song, Skin, which I like to listen to this one slowed down a lot. Here's the normal version. Now when I slow it down, I feel like I appreciate the drum beat behind it a lot more. This drum beat just punches so much more. See, I just, I, I get a lot more out of the red. I appreciate the tone more. Like I'll, I'll say that this wasn't one of my favorite Dijon songs until I remixed it and now I don't just listen to the slowed down version. I listen to the normal version, but I've taken away new things from the song and now it means a little more to me. I especially love what changing the speed does to the vocals. I feel like that really helps recontextualize the writing and bring out new emotions. For example, I think sped up songs, the higher pitched voice, it, it sounds a little more emotionally vulnerable to me when a voice is high pitched. I can't be the only one that thinks that because I think about early Brockhampton songs. They'll do pitched up vocals on some really deep parts of Frank Ocean Nikes. The whole first half, first two thirds of that song are pitched up. And I think it lends to that quality of being really emotional. Uh, to, to show you this, I'll play you Again, not hip hop at all. We're gonna go to Tyler Childers, country artist. I love his song, In Your Love, sped up. Here's a little snippet of it, normal speed. I will wait for you till the sun turns into ashes and bows down to the moon. I will wait for you. It's a beautiful song and I can't stress enough that I do listen to it normal speed all the time, but I love what the sped up version does to it. Here's a little of that. I've actually tried to remix this. I love the piano sample sped up. It sounds like it could be a little TJ song. I'll wait for you till the sun turns into ashes and bows down to the moon. And this part is cool too. We were never made to run ever. We were just meant to go long enough to find what we were chasing after. I believe I found it here in your love. I'll play you another one of my favorite songs of his, normal and sped up. This is Follow You to Virgie. Uh, a great song about an uh, older woman that was really important in his life passing away. Uh, here's a bit of the normal speed. Back before these calloused hands and all this work, we 
we sit up at the flats Acting like we live forever This is great storytelling in this song, honestly. Getting high and skipping class I'll Speed it up. Yeah, I reckon we were heathens But in her eyes we were saints I just, <laughs> I love this song so much. That the Lord's called home and I can see her up in glory. I can see her through the pines. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, <laughs> again, like it feels more emotional sped up, but it's also like more upbeat it now it draws out more that this is a celebration of this woman's life. It's not totally sad anymore. Like, and again, like when you listen to the song Normal Speed, you'll now be going into it with those new emotions. And it's like, you have a lot of new stuff to draw from. It, it extends the life of this great piece of writing to me. And finally, one of the other great uses of changing the speed of music is if you are a music producer or interested in music production, when you change the speed of music, you will notice new sonic elements in the songs that you wouldn't have picked up on before. Like there, there is so much little ear candy and even more subtle like synth lines or chords that you might not hear upon normal listen, but when you change the speed, those new elements come out and that'll give you a better idea of what made the song you like so great in the first place and what little tricks these producers are using that you could also use in your music production. To illustrate this, I'll give you a very production dense song. Uh, this is one of my favorite albums just ever, especially of this past year. Uh, I'll play Born Yesterday by Quideca. I'll play a little bit of normal speed, as always. I was a boy yesterday. Oh, I think you got This is one of my favorite songs. Now, I'll slow it down for you. Already, like the song just sounds more trippy than before, which is cool. But when I listen to that, I now pick up on a lot of these little glitches and these tiny little melodies that are buried in the back of the song. Also, a lot of the, the vocal work that's being done that's just lending to the atmosphere, I could pick up on that a lot more. And in my mind, I can now like visualize like the components that make up the song a lot more because I'm now hearing it a different way than I have over and over again. And so I can pick up on those new elements. The same happens when you listen to it sped up. Although like for production purposes, I usually slow stuff down. <laughs> Just to wrap it up, I'll, I'll play you one more of my favorite songs to speed up. Uh, this is a Glaive song. Uh, it's named after a hospital in North Carolina, which is uh, pretty close to me. I've been to it several times. Not actually been, I've driven past it. I haven't gone to the, the hospital. I've actually never like had to go to a hospital before. I'm knock on. Knock on wood. I don't want to. I don't want to go to a hospital. I mean, I'll go. I'll visit someone else in the hospital. I just don't want to be a patient. 
Although I don't even like hospitals creep me out. I don't even like visiting. Like like I'll I'll visit if you're close to me, but just though I I won't enjoy it. Like I'll enjoy you. I won't enjoy going. Oh, I'm gonna play this song. <laughs> So yeah, that is my defense of sped up, slowed down, changing the speed of your music. Uh, it's not lame, it could be cool, it could be useful, and it could make people appreciate your art more. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I have put a Spotify playlist in the description with all of my favorite music to speed up and slow down. A lot of the songs that were in this video and some other ones. Uh, you can follow me at Robert2 underscores Isaac on social media and I also, I'm a filmmaker and I have a screenwriting podcast with a frequent writing partner of mine. It is called Written By. We pitch new films every week and it's a great podcast you should listen to there's also a link for that thank you so much i'll see you uh next time i see you i will say the one thing i don't get is gonna released a pack with his big single there's a sped up and a chopped and screwed but there's also a reversed version of the song again am i getting old or does Who's listening to this? Again, am I old? Am I like the people that don't get sped up music? Like, leave, leave a comment if you listen to your music in reverse. If you're a fan of the reverse version. <laughs>